the WJEC has put together a working group that's put together a project pack for children in Welsh second language schools aimed at moving them from level four up to level five. And we were asked to run one of those packs to see if we could get children in our class who were at level four working on those language mats and on the day-to-day -day Welsh in Helper Heddiw and in their Welsh lessons and move them up to level five using the pack. When we're using the language mats, they've been getting progressively more difficult over the last term and a half to two terms. Children have practised reading the questions as they go around the mats and reading the answers and then just filling in the relevant information about themselves. And gradually that support, as you get to each progressively more difficult mat, gets removed and the children are expected to add a little bit more to their answer. So on the mats that we're using in this activity, the children are expected to ask all the questions just by looking at a picture prompt and then give an answer to that question purely by referring to the picture prompt and starting to extend their answers, but not as much as they would on the next two mats after this. So we're still looking at level four work, really, on these mats to begin with. Baladar, Georgia, Baladar, Elliot. Barefoot, the energy, Georgia, right away. Blair, Ointine, Boo. Dream, Boo, Wrexham. Eba, Oskol, Ointine, Mind. Mindy Oskol Sam Peda, Frank Odida Oide, Ian Deggy Hoyd, Creed Marta Membluidi, My Membluid Earn Medi Eve, Beth Odida Lee Fondi, Dim Ian Now Scythe Pedwa Odida Lee Fondi, Harlow Odida Clogide, My Geddy Thugide Brown, Harlow Odida Wakde, my Geddy Wath Brown Hebbard. We tried to incorporate as many Welsh games into the Welsh lessons as we can, so we carried on using the same cards, the green cards and the yellow cards, to play the next game, where children had to put them face down on the table, turn over one yellow one, read it to their partner, and then turn over a green one and read that to their partner. If it matches up, so if it becomes an extended sentence, they can then keep that pair of cards, if it doesn't, they turn it face down on the table and they keep taking it in turns until all the cards have been picked up. The children like this game because it's a memory game and it makes Welsh fun and we just try to incorporate as many different strategies as possible to help the children pick up these ways of extending their sentences in as fun a way as we can. So we're still trying to extend our answers. So not just saying achos, my great, achos, my diflas, but giving a lot more information in the answers that we provide. So what we're going to do, and I'll start over here, so just leave your cards and watch for a minute. I want you to put all the yellow cards, when it's your turn, face down. Harry and Kelsey, you can help me, please. And all the green cards face down in two sets on your table. So you need all the yellow cards over here and all the green cards over here, please. Similar to what the, the game we've just been playing. Thanks, Harry. We turn a card over, and I'm going to read it. So... Doing Kasai Stenders, Aratledi, Akos my Paub and the Flas Akondrist. I'm going to see if I'm lucky now. I'm going to turn a green card over. That says Gwella C Big Ben at Buckingham Palace, Casey Amse Bendigedig. So Katino ne Angatino. Angatino, because this card doesn't go with this card, does it? So we put them back in the same place. And then it's Tro T Kelsey. Okay, so everybody's going to take it in turns. You've got to try and match up pairs. You keep the pair. Whoever's got the most pairs at the end of the game wins the game. Happis? Happis. For the key. S.E.E. Cinema, Evo, Will, Refringi, Will, Finn, Neward, James Bond. Well, I see Big Ben at Buckingham Palace. Kiss, E. Amsa, Bendigo, Dig. And Katina. Between Hoffi Mindy Oskol St Peter's and Arosic Gerexum. Gwella C Big Ben of Buckingham Palace, Kessie Amsa Bantigedig, Dween Angatino. Okay, moving on from our sentence starter practices on the whiteboard on the board, Gwyn. We're going to play a game now. So we've got partner A, partner B, Beth Adi, Ungum Reich. So partner A has a list. 
first question, question in, basically I am and Gumraig. Partner B will have the answer on the sheet that they have. So let's just have a little practice. I'll be partner A. Everybody who can see a partner B sheet, give me the answer, please. So Beta D, I am and Gumraig. So on my sheet, I now need to write Duin because you've given me the answer. I haven't got a gap on the next box, so it's partner Buzz's turn to ask a question. Happis? Happis. Beth D, I have got on Gumraig. Mike D. Beth D, I haven't got on Gumraig. Doisk any then. Beth D. She has got on Gumraig. My gamfa he. Beth D. She has got on Gumraig. My gamfa he. Beth D. I haven't got on Gumraig. Doisk any then. In the dice game, again, we're trying to make Welsh fun for the children, but we're also building up their skills towards the level five, which we're always aiming to try and get them up to. So we've got a dice of themes and a dice of connectives. So it's encouraging them to make up a sentence on the spot about a theme that's generated by rolling the dice and including a connective that's generated by the dice. So in this game, they're having fun rolling the dice but also building their Welsh skills all the time. OK, we're going to use the dice for the game next. So, theme yai are connective. So, on this one, gwyl yai ond. Charlotte, do you wish, sir? Libby Tabla. De lad. De a neak. Dwi'n hoffi gwisgo Skirt, beer, a crease tea, a cost mine, trendy, dress burn. There you go. Do it, sir. Joss. Hobby I, a cost. Tween hoffy, cricket, a cost mine, grafoise yawn, on my west guinea football, Nepal droid, a cost. Mine, I cost mine whole vowel. No, whole yam. I am. S E E Club Peldroid Evo Fringiae Dives Saddle. Oh, fantastic, Josh. I am for extending your answer and putting the past tense into it as well. Mm -hmm. Answer fantastic. I am too. The children love using the chatter boxes. And they're an excellent way to put together absolutely everything that they've learned up to this point. They've got to talk about topics related to a theme. They've got to mix up third person with talking about themselves. And they also have to practice using their numbers, their vocabulary associated with playing games, so tro T, tro V. And they get to sound out the sounds of the letters of the alphabet in Welsh. So everything in the previous games is put together with the chatterbox activity. They enjoy doing it, and it gives them a chance to make up extended sentences like they did with the dice, but in a different format, in a different game. OK, we're going to put all the language we've been learning over the past few weeks together into one game now, so building on everything that we've done so far. The last activity was the dice, so this builds straight on from that, but now everybody can be involved all at the same time rather than waiting for one person to speak. So on your flicker, we've got four themes, not six. Hobby, Buid, Gwiliai, Taili. So you're going to need to ask your partner to choose a theme. So what's the word for choose? Duissa. Duissa theme. I want you to practice your alphabet sounds as well. So spell out the word using the Welsh alphabet. And then I want you to choose a number. So what's the, the sentence we need to say choose a number? Parif. Parif. Okay, Duissa. And then we've got in, di, tree, or pedwar in there. So choose. Once we get to the centre of the flicker, you've got a selection of different words for your sentences that you need to use with your theme. So you've got to think what your theme was. Gwiliai, buid, hobiai, teili. And then something about yourself that's positive or negative. You've got to use a connective or you've got to give me some news. So we're talking in the past tense. Him, her, 
extend your reason, express an opinion. So all those things that we've been practicing, we're going to put it together with the flicker. Okay? Happis? Happis. Happis. Well, Path am a duitha. Bird. But o a de pa reeve duitha. Quach. In die tree pedwapim quach. Pa reeve duitha. Quach. S E E McDonald's Evo Mam a dad. Um, deg o gloch. Butessi Big Mac as Goddion. Vessi, Coca Cola, Mal, Dwayne Hoffy, McDonald's. The activity about what makes a good discussion gets children talking about what they think produces a good presentation in front of the class. This is the most cross curricular activity of all the ones that we've done this morning because it can be incorporated into any subject which requires the children to stand in front of the class and talk about a subject. In this particular instance, the children have to talk about themselves in Welsh. So there are some success criteria in the diamond ranking that are specific to that task, such as using the third person and using the past tense as well. So the children generated about 15, possibly 20 ideas in their pairs, talked about those for quite a long time. Then we had to then whittle those down to nine that would fit into the diamond ranking grid. Okay. Getting on towards doing our presentations about ourselves, Mount and Rag. We're going to talk about what makes a good presentation. So we can apply that to any subject. What makes a good presentation? We're standing in front of the class and we're talking about a subject of our choice. On this occasion, it's going to be you talking about yourselves, Mount and Rag. But I want you to jot down lots of ideas on the diamond ranking grid. And then we're going to chop them up and put them in the order that we think is the most important at the top down to the least input at the bottom. So I want ideas about what makes a good oral presentation. And if you think your partner has given you a good one, you could say katena. If you think it's not such a good one, maybe you'd say angatena and suggest a better alternative. Happis? Happis. OK. Look at the audience. OK, look at audience. What about link sentences? Katena. Express opinions. Yeah, use different tenses. Link sentences. Okay. Very sentence patterns. Use prompts. Katina. Katina. Um. What about speak quickly? Um, that could go like speak clearly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Once they've done that, they then put the nine pieces of paper down on the diamond rank ranking grid and discuss with their partner which one they thought would should, would go where. So that it wasn't a purely English-speaking task, we did encourage the children to say katina if they agreed with what their partner was saying, and katina if they didn't. Once they'd decided on the order of the nine statements that we felt were the most important, we could then use these to generate a success criteria for the oral presentations that the children would give as a conclusion to all of these activities that we'd done up to this point. I think these two are very important. Yeah, because you need to speak clearly so the, so the audience can understand you and hear you. And then this is quite important as well, look at the audience, because when you have a look at the prompts, you might not know which prompts. You would have got these. Speak about other people and express opinions and talk about things in the right order, I think should go there. Yeah, me too. And then we've got link sentences. And then use different sentences. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Done. Okay, well done. We had some great discussions about what makes a good presentation. So everybody's got an order which we can use at the end of the next two tasks. So what we're going to do next is we're going to draw out some prompts on some pieces of paper that are going to help us with our presentations about ourselves. Then we'll hear some people doing their presentations and then we'll go back to those statements that we've just used on the diamond ranking grids and we'll just make sure that everybody who does a presentation is ticking off those boxes, is doing those things that you've described as a good presentation. So what I want you to do on your piece of paper, going round like a board game almost, do a flow diagram or little pictures or some columns of sentences about themes, however you find it easier to organise it for yourself. What's going to remind you to talk about your family and where you live, 
your hobbies and your interests, the school that you go to, what you've done on the weekend. I want third person, my own, my heen, my gandhi, my gandhavo, and I want past tense, AC, KC, of SC, all those things in your presentation. So this needs to be quite a detailed, clear piece of work. This will be your prompts, because every pair of you has said using prompts is important for a good presentation. So that's what we're going to make next. Happy with that one? Happy, happy. OK, for the key. As a conclusion to the activity, the children were given personal profiles of themselves in front of the class. Obviously, only one child at a time could do this. So while the other children were listening, to keep them focused and make sure they were listening really carefully to what their friends were saying, we used the statements from the diamond ranking activity that we'd done earlier. They took the nine most important statements and ordered them on the diamond ranking grid, one through to nine. We then took these and wrote them out on a sheet that generated a success criteria list of nine different statements. This meant that the children were able to listen to what their friends were saying and tick off as they heard, yes, they're using the third person, yes, they're using the past tense, yes, they're speaking clearly, and yes, they're using their prompt cards. So all the time we were tying together everything they'd done prior to this point to make sure that the children who were in the audience were focusing on what their partner was saying and the person giving the presentation was always conscious of what their friends would be looking for them to be doing. Right, Libby, let's hear what you've got to say, please. And Charlotte and Georgia, you listen carefully and tick off the boxes as you hear Libby using those things, please. Hello, Libby, do we tween in the geoid at my member e my wife, tween boo and rex and melty, ever vanilla, my rex and gear chester, tween Mindy of school St. Peter's. My St. Peter's um, Rossard, the half afro of the Mr. Roberts, I cost my Lara Hoyle, the half bunk of the art, I cost mine great, dim in now scythe, oif oif, pimp pedra tree, oif tree, of the Dereifoni. Between verse and happiest, but on between charades. My Genny waxed brown, the tonog, a clogide guiv, between thou dross burn. My Genny Ian Browd or any Thomas. My Thomas Ian Deg Quercoid. My own hoffy, my own hoffy athletic, arms my white gamble rugby, I cost my Lara Hoyle, dream person, my keen person happiest, my Genny Ian Keffel or any licorice. My Gambo Wax D Mevel Licorice Agorai Friend S E E Macogai Unna Stable Unna Will Ryan Centre Ebo Finale Boytessi Squadion Cluessi Kebel, Gwellessi Kebel, uh, Ovesi Coke, Dross Penwifnos, S E E Athletai, Unna Stadium, Ever Fringii, Fiona Alex, Dream Tha, Akos Mine, Akos Dream Tha, and Shopper, a Javelin, a Discus. Dream Vim and Hoffy Pale Droid, Akos Mine, Beraglis, Dream Kasai, 
golf at Cost Mine Spurio, drink acai, judo, heavy, play ball. Okay, Diane, Libby, uh, Josh, your turn now, so let's see what you've got. And Sasha, Elliot, you're going to make sure you're making notes about Josh this time, aren't you? Hello, Josh Dewey. Wien in the Ginoid, ach my mahem bluid e un covenav in the Gin. Dween bu un rosset rung pulford agressford. Evo Nahali. Dween mindi usko sant peder evo frintiai. The half afro. Mr. Roberts, I got some mine flower oil, yam. The half bunk, Oddy, the mathematic, I got mine, I got mine grit. And mine wech geni PE, I got mine, I got mine bendy geddig. Um, my geni in browd or any Alex. Ach, dwi'n un deg, un deg tri oed, ac mae mae hen blwydd i mis go fennaf deg. Mae o'n hoffi, mae o'n hoffi pêl droed, ac os mae'n llawer o hwyl, on on to my west Guinea cricket across across mine Griffiths Yell. My Guinea in Cath or any no die Cath or any magic ah ah Izzy. My magic on Enoid ah my Izzy on Trioid. Arapen Weathnos. S E E Club Pell Droid Evo Frindiai Gwell S E Pell Droid K S E Amsa Great Dwi'n hoffi cricket Dwi'n hoffi cricket Akos mae'n Llawer o hwyl Ond mae'n well geni football No Pell Droid Akos Akos mae'n Great iawn iawn Hwyl fawr Okay, Diane Pope. Now everybody's had their turn. You did really, really well. So we'll call some people up and they can tell you about your individual presentations and we'll hear what people thought. So, Georgia Tadama, and we'll hear what you thought about Libby's, please. Dween Hoffy, the way she very tenses. She used Dween, my aunt, and RC. She talked in a sensible order. She talked about herself, family, and her hobbies. Tronessa, Libby needs to extend her opinions even further. Dinner. Okay, the off Georgia. Charlotte's a number. And let's hear what you've got to say about Josh's presentation, please. Dween Hoffy, the way he looked at the audience. Dween Hoffy, the way he referred to the notes. Tronessa, he needs to try and show, he needs to try and speak with an expression to show that he understands what he's saying and keep the audience interested. Katina? Katina. There you are. Deox, Charlotte. Right, Tronessa, Elliot, to Dumma. And let's hear what you thought about Josh's presentation, please. Josh, go on down. Dween Hoffy, the way he mixed the tenses, he used Dween, my on, S-E. Dween Hoffy, the way he gave reasons to support his opinions. Tronessa, he needs to work on talking about the third person and not mix up between Dween and my own. Katina? Katina. There. To conclude the presentation project as a whole, we added on a peer assessment activity at the very end. So children, once they'd listened to their partners in their presentation and ticked off the things that they felt they'd heard, were able to give two stars, so identify two things that they thought were done particularly well and add on one wish. So what did they think the person who'd given their presentation 
could do a little bit better or could add in next time they did a presentation. That tied in with everything that had been included in the pack.